Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're doing a fun little project today because I wanted to get a more portable Switch dock for my Nintendo Switch. My oldest daughter and I have been playing a few Switch games together. Uh, we finished Luigi's Mansion and we've been playing Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart and we wanted a way to play the Switch on a TV when we travel and there really wasn't a solution out there for a portable Switch dock that I was comfortable using. And the reason is, is that a lot of the third-party docks are kind of risky uh, because of the unique way in which Nintendo implemented USB-C charging on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure if they've rectified some of these issues in the latest revision of the Switch, but I have an old one, the original, and I'm very concerned about breaking it. And I wanted to find a solution that would really work, yet be portable. And I came across this thing. This is a, a little Switch do-it-yourself kit. And this is uh, called the Bass Top Portable Dock. Uh, and it's, for some reason, ha has a different brand on it when it arrived. This is about $14. And what it is is a, a kit where you take all the guts out of the official dock and put it in this smaller case. And that will get you a, essentially an official Switch dock that's portable because you're using the original circuit boards here and the Nintendo Power Adapter, just putting it into a different shell. Uh, so in the interest of full disclosure, I paid for this with my own funds. All of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this video, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. So let's get to it now. We're going to start with the unboxing, and then we'll get to work on taking this dock apart and putting all of its guts in the portable thing. Let's get to it. All right, so let's open the box up and see what is inside. This is available in a couple of different colors. Uh, I got mine in white just for the heck of it. Uh, but again, you can get it in, I think, four different colors. It feels okay. Not the best quality, but this is, this is it. It's just a piece of plastic that's just been molded properly to fit all of the components. Um, what I am not seeing, though, is an instruction guide. <laughs> so we may have to go look this up on the Internet just to be safe about this. But perhaps it might be self-explanatory given the location of ports and all that. But I would, you would hope that maybe they would give you an instruction book, but they don't seem to do that. But you do have a bunch of screwdrivers, and these should all um, fit the uh, size of the screws you will be encountering. And they included some screws for uh, screwing down the motherboard. And it looks like they've got some rubber feet here for the bottom of the dock. So that is all you get. And the lack of instructions is a bit concerning. But we're going we're gonna to soldier through this. Let's see if we can do it without instructions. So the next step. Uh, is we're going to get our switch dock out on the table and start the surgery here and extract its components and put them in here. Wish me luck. Now, one quick correction. There are instructions, just not in the box. There is a QR code here on the back. This will point you at a YouTube video uh, that you can use as a guide for taking apart the dock and assembling the new one. And I want to thank a viewer, uh, Irvin Lucas, who saw that during the live stream we've been doing as we're uh, doing this installation for finding that. So there is some instructions, but nothing written. So if you are a visual learner, this is going to be helpful. If not, you're going to have to struggle through things as I'm going to struggle through. So what we're going to do now is just go to my overhead view, and we're going to begin unscrewing the Nintendo dock. There are two parts that we have to get out of here. One is the motherboard for uh, the, to the main components, but there's also a USB Type-C connector as well. Uh, so I'm going to take these screws out, and while I do this, we'll speed up the video, and then we'll come back when we're done. All right, so we got all the screws taken out. Let's take the first layer of the dock off, and now we can see the circuit board here and a ribbon cable. Now, what we have to do with this is... Uh, disconnect this from the USB-C connector. So before we pull this little circuit board out, uh, we need to undo a few more screws here. So let's get to that, and then we will continue our project here. All right, I'm going to stop here real quick because I don't like the pressure that is being put on this ribbon cable to get at the screws under the main board. So we're going to disconnect the main board here to be safe before we go at those screws. Uh, so what you're going to do here is just pull up this uh, thing here and then lift the ribbon cable up from the board or pull it out. 
uh, and that way you can more safely work with things without putting too much strain on the pins in there. Uh, what you want to just make note of is that the blue portion here will be facing up when you're done with this. And now that I've got everything disconnected, I can more easily pull things apart and start working on the USB-C connector. Uh, so, oops, so the USB-C connector is uh, under four screws here, so we're going to take care of that in a second. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is disconnect this, um, this LED light here as well, and that connects to the motherboard on the other side. So we're going to pull out that connector, and this only goes in one way, so it shouldn't be hard to get at that later. So let's just pull off that little connector there. Hopefully it'll come out easy. Uh, and then we can set the motherboard aside and uh, continue the project here. So now that we are safely disconnected, we can pull everything apart, and I can more easily uh, get at that USB-C connector there. So the big thing here is that they were, uh, in the instruction video, not showing that there were more screws kind of under the motherboard here. So that's why, again, I think you should probably disconnect uh, the ribbon cable uh, from the motherboard before you try to pull things apart. And again, you can do that by lifting up the door here and then just gently pulling the cable out from the pins that are there. And we'll reassemble everything when we are done with the dock assembly. So now what we're going to do uh, is begin the process of extricating uh, our USB-C connector from this. So from the instructions, it looks like we need to unscrew this section here. So let's get to that. So we got the USB-C connector here extracted from the old dock, or at least this part of it. Now the instructions call for unscrewing these two screws here, and unfortunately the included screwdrivers are not good enough to get uh, those screws extracted. In fact, I'm very concerned about stripping uh, the screws here because they don't quite fit, and because this thing is on a spring, it's hard to get a good grip on it with the screwdrivers they include with it. So I have uh, my own screwdriver set here that I'm now bringing into the mix because I could not get these screws out with what they gave me. So I would add to your shopping list a uh, maybe one of these uh, electronics kits that has a bunch of screwdrivers included, or at least a bunch of uh, heads here for a screwdriver. And what I'll do in the video description is give you uh, the kit that I'm using, which is not that expensive. But this is certainly turning out to be a little bit more difficult than they let on. All right, so we've got our motherboard extracted now along with our USB-C connector. It's amazing that this is all there is to the Nintendo Switch dock, and you've got this huge plastic thing that it sits in. Now to attach the motherboard, what we're going to do is uh, flip up the top portion here. Let me get you my overhead view for a better view. And we're going to just get everything aligned, and there are three screws that we're going to put in now, and then there are two others that we'll secure when we get the rest of the case put together. So we're going to use our three long screws here on these three screw holes. So let's get that uh, wired up now, and then we'll get the USB-C connector attached, and hopefully we'll be pretty much done with this project. Hang on. Now the one thing that we did differently than the instructional video was to attach the USB-C connector from the motherboard and not the connector. So we're going to reconnect that connector now by putting that blue portion in there and then putting that door back down. That looks like it's in there pretty securely, so we're good to go there. And now we're going to guide the USB-C port into its little slot here. And let's see how easily this goes in. There it goes. And then we have to secure the ribbon cable this way, which is what the instructions said to do. And then we're going to screw in now the USB-C connector and then put the rest of the thing back together. Now to screw down the USB-C connector, we actually have to take the screws that were holding it down on the Nintendo dock and apply them here. So all the other screws you're going to use uh, on this project came with the dock, but these two screws will come from the Nintendo dock. And those are these uh, tiny little screws that we had to get a different screwdriver out for. Uh, so I'm going to now attach that to my screwdriver here and get these uh, installed. And then hopefully we should be able to put the whole thing together and then get our Nintendo Switch working with the original hardware in a much smaller form factor. Uh, so we'll get this screw screwed in here. And uh, let me give you a different angle on this so you can see how this is looking here. So 
Again, the same screws from the Nintendo dock, and again, I'm using a different screwdriver that won't strip them. <laughs> uh, and now we've got that in there. We can fold this down like this. This is what the instruction manual or the instructional video uh, said you should do. Uh, so we've got that down like that, and now we're going to put the uh, top of the case down on top of it. And then all we need to do now is just screw it all back together, and we should have ourselves a much smaller dock. So let me get this done, and we'll see if it all works. All right, so everything is now reassembled. I've got my HDMI connected here. I have the official Nintendo adapter that came with my dock uh, connected to the USB-C port. And now what we'll do is we'll take my Switch here, which is running Super Smash Brothers, and I'm just going to place it down on the dock here and connect it. Uh, the display will go dark, and here we go. It looks like we are good to go with a much smaller dock, but it has all of the original Nintendo guts. So I have peace of mind here, hopefully, of knowing that everything is uh, official from the hardware standpoint, but we've gotten it into a much smaller form factor that I can travel with. Uh, one thing just to be careful about when you're putting all this stuff together is that ribbon cable that connects the uh, USB-C port to the motherboard. Make sure those connections are good, that you've got everything well seated, because that's the one area where I could see something going wrong. Uh, but if you've got that well seated there, uh, this is working just fine, and now I've got a dock that I can take with me, again, that has all of the original Nintendo guts in there. So overall, this was not a hard project to do. Uh, the only deviation I took was detaching the ribbon cable from the motherboard, uh, which was the opposite of what the video instructions suggested I do. The reason I did that is because there were screws underneath the motherboard that were hard to get to. Uh, but beyond that, it came together pretty much the way the instructional video said it would. And now I've gone from this uh, to something much smaller that I can now travel with, but again, it has the original Nintendo guts, and of course, all the ports here will work just like they did before, and now you've got something that fits into a smaller form factor. Uh, now, what's odd is that at the moment, uh, at least at the time I'm recording this video, it's hard to find the original Switch dock as a standalone. If you buy a Switch, of course, you'll get a dock with it, but I'm having a hard time finding these at retail for any kind of reasonable price. So I suspect that Nintendo might be working on something to uh, fill the tremendous demand, I think, for portable docks. Uh, so I'm sure we'll see something in the next couple of months. But if you can't wait and you've got an extra dock kicking around, uh, this seems to be a really good solution here, uh, minus all the dust on my screen, uh, that will get you that docking functionality again in a travel-ready size and form factor. So that's going to do it here for this look at this DIY switch docking kit. About 14 bucks plus your original switch dock, and you're good to go. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.